guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to talk to you all about supplemental feeding. And when I say supplemental, that's exactly what we're trying to achieve. We're not trying to substitute their feed in the natural environment. All of the data that I'm giving you guys is from Texas A&M University and Texas A&M AgriLife. One of the most important things to realize about a deer is that it's not your common livestock animal. They're not like cattle that digest these long grass fibers. Their rumen's really small compared to their body. So what does a deer need in order to survive in the environment? Well, we have five categories. Protein, energy, minerals, vitamins, and water. The most important one is protein. Deer need 6% protein to survive with natural rumen functions, but the 13 to 16% range is where you're gonna get your optimal growth, reproduction, and everything like that. There was a study done by Penn State where they had two groups of deer. They had 9% protein and 16% protein. And over a course of a year, the 9% protein group gained 50 pounds, whereas the 16% group gained 100 pounds. That really goes to show how much they need this protein. With energy, there hasn't been as much study done, but we know that they need the energy. But what you need to realize is that everything that they're eating out here, they're gonna convert to energy. You don't necessarily need to feed anything that's gonna give them all this energy because they're gonna metabolize everything out here. With minerals and vitamins, it's the same way. They're gonna get everything from the forage that they need. One of the most common myths is with minerals. If I put out all this mineral and all these vitamins, I'm gonna get awesome antler growth. That's not necessarily true. Yes, you can put mineral out there. They're not gonna turn it away. But there was a study done by Michigan. Over a course of four years, there was a group with minerals and a group without. They were both fed the same diet, just one had minerals, and there was no change in antler growth over four years. The best way to use minerals is to track your deer. If you want to know if they're coming through a certain spot, put up a game camera, put out a mineral block, they're going to go to it because they want that salt in there. They love the salt. Um, and then finally, water. There are three places your deer are going to get water from. There's free sources like lakes, streams, rivers, whatever you have on your property. There's also plants. They're going to consume the plant and then they're going to get water from it. Cactus are 98% water. Browse is 80% water. They're getting so much from these plants that we don't realize. And finally, they can actually get water through animal cells when they metabolize. So they're constantly getting water. Um, so now that we know what our deer need, I'm gonna talk about what we're feeding and why we're feeding it. I have a couple of bags behind me that shows what we're feeding. The first thing and the most common thing in Texas is corn. Everyone's buying that corn to bait their deer in. And it's really an attractant, it's not a supplement. Uh, one thing to be careful about is feeding too much corn. If you feed too much, that's a lot of starch on their rumen, and it's really hard on them. It'll cause them to go into acidosis, and it's a big problem. You don't want that. Your safest bet is to buy livestock graded corn. It's 20% or 20 parts per million uh, alpha toxin compared to wildlife corn that's 50 parts per million alpha toxin. Alpha toxin is no good, you don't want it in there. Next, if you want to start feeding pelleted feed, uh, the easiest way to go about that is feeding alfalfa pellets first. They'll go to the alfalfa pellets, it smells like forage, it tastes like it, that's what they want. So after they get eating good on alfalfa pellets, you can switch to protein pellets. Protein pellets, there's 16 and 20 percent is the most common. You want to feed the 16% most of the year because that's what a deer can digest. Everything else is just going to pass through their body. You want to feed the 20% during periods like now, during antler growth and when the does are lactating. Finally, we have cottonseed. Cottonseed has a lot of protein in it. It has a lot of vitamins, minerals, 
and fiber. Fiber is awesome on their rumen because it'll slowly digest and it's really healthy for them. Cottonseed also has 17% oil and that is actually 225% more energy than cereal grain. It's awesome for the deer. If you guys have any questions or comments about anything in this video, just shoot us a message and we'll get back to you. Have a safe 4th of July weekend, and as always, gig'em and God bless.